The man, fondly called Aregbe, came into limelight as a pro-democracy and human rights activist who was a major participant in the demilitarization and pro-democracy struggles of the 1990s and today has become a factor in the Western Nigerian political terrain. Ralph Adisa Jareg Bashala was born 25th May 1957. He had his primary and secondary education in Ondo State. As a student, he was known for remarkable performances which he made distinctively and seamlessly. He had his tertiary education at the Polytechnic Ibadan, where he studied mechanical engineering and graduated in 1980. At the Polytechnic, he positioned himself to conquer his environment by engaging in prolific studies. Politically, Rauf had been no less a phenomenon. His involvement in politics dates back to his undergraduate days when he was Speaker of the Students' Parliament from 1977 to 1978 at the Polytechnic Ibadan and the president of the Black Nationalist Movement, 1978 to 1980. He was also an active supporter of other progressive students' movements nationwide, which earned him, for instance, the life membership of National Association of Technological Students. On graduation in 1980, Raouf Arek Bashala was posted to Kaduna State for the mandatory NYSC scheme. He had his NYSC primary assignment at the defunct Nigeria External Telecommunications, NET, now renamed Nigerian Telecommunications Limited. During this period, he resided at Sabontasha, a suburb of Kaduna, where the company had staff quarters. It was during this period he met and married his adorable wife, Sharifa, and for his outstanding performance, it was retained at the now renamed Nigerian Telecommunications Limited, where he worked for some years. Raouf Arik Bashala has a wealth of experience garnered through wide exposure in the private sector, such as the Nigerian External Telecommunications and Lagos Airport Hotel before establishing his own engineering services company, Aurora Nigeria Limited, in 1986. The company had handled numerous major projects for both government and private organizations in most states of the Federation. He is not only a registered and qualified engineer, but a fellow of the highly exalted Nigerian Society of Engineers and a full member of Nigeria's highest engineering regulatory body, Corin. <laughs> A sergeant politically became pronounced when he was made the director of the Bola Hamid Tinubu campaign organization, BATCO, which engineered the electoral victory of Ashwaju Bola Hamid Tinubu as the governor of Lagos State in 1999. The Ijashabon politician was appointed as the Commissioner for Works and Infrastructure in Lagos State in 1999, a position he held for eight years with the strength of his commitment to selfless service. His diligence, sincerity, and tirelessness in the administration of the vast Ministry of Works and Infrastructure, as well as supervision of the Public Works Corporation and State Electricity Board, Arek Bashala has been acknowledged as being responsible for some of the outstanding success recorded by the Tinubu administration in Lagos. In 2005, he came as Oromiya, promising an unusual transformation. He had a pact with the people to banish hunger, banish poverty, banish unemployment, promote healthy living, promote functional education, and promote communal peace and progress through a six-point integral action plan derived from the Cardinal Development Action Points. In April 2007, he ran for Shingubur elections on the platform of the Action Congress and was massively voted for, but he was robbed of his mandate and People's Democratic Party candidate was declared the winner. 
but as a believer and advocate of the rule of law and someone that believes in the sanctity of the rule of law, he challenged the election and the election petition tribunal. The people stood by him and after a prolonged legal battle, he was pronounced the authentic winner of the April 2007 election at the Federal Appeal Court in Badon on November 26, 2010. The builder of the new ocean was sworn in at about 12 noon of August 27th as the executive governor of Oshun. <laughs> A man known for matching his words with action. This is evident in the way he started with taking practical steps towards fulfilling his campaign promises immediately he assumed office as the governor. One good example is the employment of 20,000 youths under the Austrian Youth Empowerment Scheme, oh yes, just three months into his administration, as he promised during his governorship campaign tour in 2007. The oh yes is one out of all the plans the Ogbeni had for the state towards fulfilling two of his six-point agenda, which are to banish unemployment and banish poverty. He began to tackle the age-long jigs of infrastructural deficits through unique innovative efforts and the rebuilding process has consistently continued despite the poor state of finances of the state. The slogan, Isherere Koduro Inakpa Kosimo, became the watchword. He completely redefined the meaning of governance in the public sector, not just with symbolic posturing, but real and sustainable intervention that will presently enhance the quality of life of everyone that lives or works in the state of Oshun. Rebranding of the state as the Mileo Moluabi, state of the virtues, started from himself. By adopting the title of Beni, simply put, Mr. in deference to the singular. The chronicle of his achievements is astounding that Oshun became the envy of others. He is a fervent believer in the dictum that strategists do not fail, and so he will not fail the people of Oshun. Committed to a better and egalitarian society, Arek Beshola, though fully anxious to build a society with massive physical infrastructures that promotes better living, believes in first pursuit of those human values that can pave the way for the imagines of that total man who is socially responsible. Hence, his dogged pursuit of programs and extracurricular schemes such as the calisthenics, Omoluabi Boys and Girls Club, and other schemes aimed at reorientating the youths to channel their energies towards a society where the promotion of the common and collective good will dominate the crazy passage of the good of the self. He stares the honest nest often. But these are in his determined attempts to break the norms to achieve extraordinary results. To date, he has ignited debates on federalism, restructuring of education towards functionality, equity, justice, and fairness in all spheres of life. Even in the face of mounting criticisms, he holds tenaciously to his ideas convinced that oppositions to them are products of long years of military rule, ignorance of what is even good for humanity, and the acute manipulative capacities of those whose interest it is to keep the ordinary people perpetually subjugated. He sought for re-election in 2014, and against all odds, he was overwhelmingly re-elected by the people of Oshun, a feat that was made possible by his unprecedented achievements in his first term. In his quest to see a more purposeful government at the center, he has the zonal coordinator of the Buari Oshimbaja campaign organization ensured that the southwest zone turned in a large vote for the presidential candidate of the APC, who will be sworn in few days' time as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. No doubt, Ogbeni Rauf Adiso Jarek Beshola, governor, state of Oshun, a devoted Muslim and a responsible family man, 
is one special person we celebrated daily. But his birthday is even specially celebrated because he is special in many ways. Birthdays come once in a year, but special people are celebrated daily. A leader and lover of men with the mildest touch on all things. Or Benny, your touch of excellence in places you have passed through will surely outlive time as you clock 58 this day. Happy birthday, Ogbeni Aregbeshola, Igba Odunlaye Oduko. There be one for my hand, but God be way. There be one keep my joy, but God be way. I say anything them do not God be way. No, not God be way. No, not God be way. Don't change my name to God you I know more, I don't buy more to God you I say my market no go say you God you Happy birthday, Obeli Aragoshola. Our boy, in the office, in the state of Boston, it has a 58, once a 59, once a 60, once a 70, once a 80, and baby, I'm not a man. He said, I don't know what you mean, I'm not a man. As you don't pass exam, now God do it. Yeah. And then be say you no go pass for God do it. Yeah. You wake up see to the last song, now God do it. Uh -huh. Robbers they rob, they no see you, brother. They no see you, my sister. Who oh, your bell of us? Now God do it. Hello, <laughs> 